Cole uh, got out of jail, I thought, with that one. He came good in the end, and, I, and the substitutions are good. How did you see it? Yeah, I've, I've got to say um, that was most probably our poorest performance of the season. Um, we were just second to everything today. You know, Newcastle didn't allow us to play. They were very good and um, came with good energy. And we just, um, yeah, we just couldn't get out of the blocks. Um, struggled with our ball movement, struggled. Yeah, um, and, you know, I suppose we, we hung in the game and stayed in the game. And, you know, as you said, um, pinched it at the end. It's, um, it's football, isn't it? it um, when you're on top in games, if you don't kill the other team off, they can always come back. You know, it's happened to us a few times this year and, you know, it's on the other foot this time. So, um, happy to take three points, but, um, yeah, very disappointed with the performance. You're a little bit de depleted as well, obviously, is a year suspended. Um, Steph Moore, ill? Yeah, he um, had a stomach bug illness, so um, couldn't keep any... Um, of his fluids down, off, off food down, um, so, you know, he missed out. He, you know, travelled, but, um, yeah, so he had to stay back in the hotel. So just just with the start, obviously, Lachlan Brook and Hiroshi made a big difference, I thought, when they come on. Why didn't you start them? Um, you were just giving them more time um, to settle in and get their fitness. You know, it's both of them hadn't played a lot of... Well, Hiroshi hasn't played a lot of football, so we want to make sure that he's there for the whole season, same as Lockie, you know, and you saw the quality of Lockie when he came on. He was most probably our best player today. Um, yeah. So, you know, that's you know another 45 minutes each into them. So, you know, as you said, next week, I'll expect them to start. But it's, I mean, you show, you're showing signs of a good team because obviously you were out of the match for a long, long time and you came back to win it and you've got a, a massive game on uh, Friday night at mm. that home where you can maybe put some daylight between Adelaide and Sydney. Yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, it's going to be a, a tough game next week, a game that we always look forward to playing against Sydney. They're a great team, have been a great team for a long time. So um, it's always good to, you know, put yourself up against um, teams like that. So, um, but we'll have to have a good look at this week. Um, you know, um, have a look at what we, what we didn't do. Um, and improve because if we play like that again next week against Sydney, we I don't think they will allow us to to hang into the game like um, happened tonight. So, what do you think it was? Why why did you have that start? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the first twenty five minutes was <laughs> yeah not great, um, and then it sort of went on. It was it was almost like we were the team that had been hadn't played for five weeks. Um, you know, they came out with a lot of energy, a lot of pressure. And we just struggled, um, and then we just had you know players that um, were making mistakes, weren't really looking for the ball, and it makes it difficult to play when you you know unless you want every, everyone wants the ball. So um, yeah, we just struggled. And just a 15-year-old kid taking a free kick, I thought, oh, oh, what's going on here? I mean, obviously you know all about the kid. I mean, uh, why why did he take the free kick in the first place? Because that's all he does at training. He spends hours just kicking the ball at the goal from um, three kicks. So, um, you know, he practices a lot and that's what you get when you practice your craft as well as he has been doing. Um, he normally goes in the other corner, though, so um, he surprised everyone. So how did you discover this kid? Yeah, look, he played with our youth side last year in the MPL, um, Ayrton. Found him playing at one of our local clubs and we brought him into the program. Um, and, you know, he's a raw talent, very young. Um, he doesn't have, I suppose, the the physical engines yet to play a lot of minutes. Um, but he's explosive and you saw that. Um, you know, he's, if he keeps working hard and keeps his head down and listens and, and works on his, on his game, he's, you know, he can go a long way like a lot of our young players. Who, who was his club? Before you picked him Raiders. Up. He was at Raiders, so um, you know that he'd been there for a few years. So um, yeah, um, I suppose we we're fortunate that um, you know that our local clubs, uh, you know, do some good work with their with their juniors.